Hey, welcome to another episode of PBR Tool Time. This is episode 151, and this is the most wonderful time of the year. It's MTE time, and I'm your host, Vince D'Alessandro, Daniel Grom, and John Renstrom. We're going to be talking tools and all sorts of stuff leading into MTE. What's happening, guys? Uh, Don't forget about our sponsors. Go ahead, John. Name our sponsors. PDR Tool Time is brought to you, of course, by Hog Glue, Magnatech Matt, Mobile Tech RX, and our good friends over at Edgy Tools. Yes, Edgy Tools, PDRTT15 gets you 15% off. EdgyTools.com. Right. Yeah, give us a little love. Well, what are we talking about today? What's well, the most uh, wonderful time of the year? We're well, going to be ready. talking about our favorite tools for the year. Heading yep. into MTE. So if you don't have our list of favorite tools, then you can get them at MTE. Yeah. Well, the list will be listed on the show notes, right? Yep. Perfect. Of course. So With links. You have your shopping list. All We provide you a shopping list for MTE. Yeah. How good is that? Your Man, there's been, there's been some really great stuff that come out last year. 2018, we got some just kick ass tools i can't wait to see what we're getting gonna see for mta yeah for 19 i i agree with you john you know throughout the year i'm like oh man this is kind of like a slow year for tools and you know not too much stuff coming on we need some content to talk about in our program and this and that and next thing you know it's like oh new tool new tool new tool Yeah. yeah yeah just some really great stuff and uh man here you know a couple, one that made my list towards the, the end of the year was a prop and lock from B and D. Now that thing, I I got to use it. I fixed a dent in a friend's hood just the other day, and man, that's probably the best hood holding tool I've ever I've, I've ever used. It's the engineering on it's quite a marvel, isn't it? It is. I only say that because I was a little bit partially responsible for some of the <laughs> the things on it. <laughs> nice. Course. Well, I, I think it's awesome. Probably like I, point, uh, point zero one percent. <laughs> I had responsibility in that. Actually, but the things you added there was pretty crucial. Yeah, they were crucial. Yeah, I thought they were. I thought it's something that, you know, technicians need on a daily basis. And that's that's what I am. I'm a daily basis techni- technician. Yeah. I'm out there pushing. I know what we need, right? Yeah, that's right. You become an, a, an expert. I wouldn't say that. I don't have a be- big enough bench grinder compared to Daniel <laughs> Groms. <laughs> I that's why you do have a, have to be a big bench grinder to be an expert. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even have a stand for my bench grinder. It sits on the ground, so it's a floor <laughs> grinder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So, all right, listen. All right, we got a whole bunch of stuff to go through. Uh, we don't want to bore you too much, so we combined some of these because some of them are redundant between the three of us. And I think uh, you know, uh, J- John or, or Daniel, you want to start us off? I'll, I'll start us off. Yeah, I'll start go us ahead. Because I'm first on the list here. So I, when I did my list, I, I wrote down a lot of different tools, and then I broke it down to what am I touching every day? What am I using? What's getting the most use? And that was kind of what dictated how my list went um i still have a lot of other tools that i love and but i don't use on a constant basis so my first one is a stucky uh talon window wedge um i use that thing every single day not only just for the window wedge but it's my pry tool it's my panel popper i mean i use that thing constantly and it's great because it's bright green. I can always find it. Yeah. And it's and the design for the window wedge, it works. It stays into the window. It doesn't work itself out. Yep. Just it's a great, great tool. If you don't have this, absolutely go out and you know what is Yeah, it? I love how when you're, when you're 
pounding down that crown on your door. It's not driving that wedge out. All That's the right. Time. Yeah. yeah. It's that. Yeah. That was a great design by Carl. Yeah, yeah, actually, I don't think Carl designed it. Carl brought it to market, though. There was a, a gentleman that came to him with that design, and yeah. Carl put it into production and got it working for us. Yeah, uh, I agree. It's a great tool. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I have three I, of them. Yeah, so I have, have two. <laughs> I, I bought yeah. a second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that one came out. That got released at last year's MTE. That's a year old. Yeah. Tool. Yeah. yeah, but it was it was released in nine, or eighteen, so it qualifies. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, uh, do you want to go one by one, on, or should uh, John? You want to go pick one of your top five? No, let's let's go, John. Now. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll leave out the Stucky for the moment, but I'm going to go with the uh, tequila glue tabs this year. Really, the smooth uh, I've ones. Had, I've, I've had the clear ones. Smooth. Yes, the smooth. Um, I've had phenomenal luck with them. I killed dents with that the tequila tabs. Those things, they hooked up for me really great all summer long. Uh, very little breakage. I mean, they went right into play with my gangrene and black ice. Uh, the tequila just went right in and got got grabbed equally as much. They uh, they did great. So they made kind of my top list for uh, some of the great tools for the year. That's awesome. Man. That is. Yeah. I Actually, I was using them today. I had a stubborn dent on, on a truck uh, cab just a small little dent and it took me 10 pulls to get one little yeah. dent out and uh once i started grabbing the the tequila it, it went a lot quicker and i did not break any more of the tequila line than i did of the gang green or black ice i broke all of them all summer oh okay uh but i broke them equally you know it there was nothing that broke off more often than anything else yeah so you no broke very gang green tabs Oh yeah, I ripped the head off two or three gang green tabs. I do easy. that too. They usually stretch before they break. I've got one that's got a pretty good stretch in it, but nope, I snapped a couple. One I broke the head half. Half of the head broke off. I, wow, wow, you're you're rough on, on your the, tabs. On the last day, uh, dude, I did some I did some horrible rails. I never should have bid some of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, now it's your turn. Okay, well, th this came out like four or five months ago. Uh, maybe three three months ago, I had a, a, a tester set. But the seven thirty second tequila hand tools, they're the smaller diameter ones. Uh, yeah. John, I know you have the other ones on your list, but I got the seven thirty seconds. Daniel has it on his list as well. Uh, yep. Reason being is we're door dingers, and they're more versatile, I think, for a door dinger as well. So you don't have to just be a hail technician to use the seven thirty yeah. seconds where uh, the 730 seconds will cross over for a door dinger or for a hill technician and get you snaked in through those holes, you know, whether it's a door or a hood or uh, a rail, you know, where you could get in, in a channel somewhere. So yeah. the only reason just, I didn't add them on my list was I knew you guys were going to have them on yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they fit in that small hole, that stock they hole do. in a hood. And it's absolutely amazing. And they snake into some crazy areas. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. on the the Super Duty roof, man. The seven thirty seconds will make that top brace all the way to the windshield, and they're strong yeah. enough. Yeah, to... I can't tout them enough. I fixed a lot of dents on those fronts of the Super Duty roofs with those seven thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah. And now that they come in black oxide, they you don't have to worry about them rusting as much. I never really worried about them because I actually use my tools and they don't gather uh, rust. But I know people in more humid climates they they were complaining yeah. about the rust. Once once you get over to Texas, you'll discover that uh, rust just will happen on your tools. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, Daniel, what's what's uh, second on your list for uh, for your choice? Second is the Elimident version three light with the automatic suction. Yeah. Absolutely, the perfect portable light. Let's call it what it is: Auto Cup. It's the Auto, auto Cup. Auto. Yeah, it's. By far, he just he nailed it. Um, I can't find a thing wrong with it. You know, honestly, he's coming out with a smaller suction cup. Hopefully, at MTE, and that's the only thing maybe I want. But I've gotten pretty used to the big suction cup and haven't had a problem finding a place to stick it because it's hot dog shaped, and um, it's been it's been a perfect light. I I set mine all the way down to the closest setting. 
and I like that fade on it, but you have that choice. Yep. And, um, yeah. And the ability to dim it too. I mean, you you get a perfect for your lighting situation. And that if you get the, all the strips in it, I turn them all, I turn them all on except for the center one. I only put uh, a bright in the center, but I have both, uh, the bright and the amber on at the same time on the outside edge. And I really like that what, option. What, uh, what, fa- what shield are you using or what, uh, plexiglass the standard, the, the standard one that comes with, with it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've, uh, I've converted over to the tequila tools, uh, mm. lenses from, uh, from dead on dents and dead on? Th- yeah. they're not making my list only because it's late in the game. And there's other tools you know, I've been using. All you know what I'm regretting that I didn't However, pick up one of those. Yeah. Well, you know what? You could buy one at uh, the Anson booth this, you know, in a week, in a week from now. Yeah. Well, you know why? I was working on a motorcycle tank and it's red and white graphics and um, it's super hard to see the white on that motorcycle tank mm-hmm. um, because you're you're working from red to white on the graphic part and it that gets really difficult. And I think that that lens would take that away from it well see i've always been a single fog guy one line right down the middle uh i do have to get used to using multiple lines on the board you know because i'll find myself trying to focus on one and then i move my head and my my mind always tells me there's only supposed to be one fog but now i have three fogs yeah you know so what it does cause is you not have to move your board as often because you have three different fogs you could pinpoint you know, it, it work the farthest one out and work it in and work all the way in to uh, to the center of the dent and, you know, uh, finishing off a dent on as you get closer. Yeah. And what I'm really excited about is he's hopefully going to be um, showing off his new light at MTE. The new full size? Yeah. he's uh, He didn't know if he was actually going to pull it off. He was going to try really hard. Yeah, so hopefully... So hopefully we get to see that because I'm excited about seeing that one. I'm, yeah. you know what the version three was on my list too, Daniel. Uh, what I like about it is its durability. It's, yeah. it's built like a tank. It has these rubber uh, bumpers on the corners. You know, we all dropped the uh, our lights, but to be honest with, you, I've yet to drop the version three because the auto cup yeah. always sticks. I know. And I've used it for everything. It was it was going to be on my list, but it was already on both your guys' lists, so I knew we were going to be talking about it a lot. Yeah, no, my wow. favorite story is with him. He he goes, yeah, I had one guy said, hey, the, the auto cup doesn't work. And he's like, really? And he starts asking a bunch of questions and comes to find out he would turn it off. <laughs> yeah. So once it sucked down, he turned it off, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Don't I, I've it used off. it. I've used it on lots of stuff, but it sticks to drywall great. I was doing a little household project, and I was doing some drywall. It does. That thing was stuck to the wall for hours. Yep. Yeah, I, definitely, definitely works uh, in a lot other a lot of other areas, like when you're doing home honeydew lists. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. And it comes in Dewalt. It comes in. Does it come in Milwaukee yet? I know he has yeah. Dewalt Makita. Huh? I'm not sure if he has Milwaukee yet, but we'll find out at MTE. Yeah, we'll find out at MTE. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, now it's John's turn. John, shoot it. All right, I'm going back to another light, and this time we're going back to Stucky. I got Stucky's full-size light. For me, that was the single best tool for me for the year. That, uh, That one made the biggest difference overall uh it but i will also say i went from some really old school led lights like gym ones and that was my first triple line uh big light headed light but ultimately the cordless the cordless made the biggest difference for me now what stand did you put on now i've got mine on an old school ts1 a1 stand okay and uh, when we had Maria and John on just uh, a while back, it looks yeah. like they were making some changes for that to hold that head. I, I have no weights on the bottom. In fact, it's in my garage here at my house, all set up, ready for me to turn it on whenever I need an extra light. Perfect. No cords. And are you That's using the, the Neverloose on it? Yep. I have the Neverloose mount on that. And 
Oh man, and the extendable I I had the Pro PDR extendable wand on it, but really I never never really extended that hardly ever. I could set it right across the roof of an SUV, and because that TS stand was zero batteries, I could get the mast all the way up to the side of the vehicle. It was it was uh, it was an awesome light. It saved me so much time, and I made so much extra money just off of never having to get out and move. You know, when you're doing a suburban roof, I end up moving my little small light heads three, four times. That cut that down in half. That's so. perfect. Awesome. That is. Yep. Uh, you know, you're a hail guy, and hail guys are going to, I think, yeah, absolutely. I towards that light. Yeah, I'd, I would not... <sighs> When it comes to a lot of lower side panel stuff, I would grab one of my smaller lights or my Eliminant version 3. Now, uh, have you ever tipped it over? How's the nope. durability? Nope. Uh, the only time I tipped it over was when I had it on one of my small old Pro PDR aluminum stands, and then the head was too heavy. Mm-hmm. I had to make sure and keep the battery on the back, but I caught it before it ever hit the floor. Um, but it got knocked around in the shop quite a bit. I don't. I got a couple scratches on the housing. That's about it. Well, it looks pretty durable the way it's. Yeah, built. it's an aluminum housing. Uh, I've only ever heard of one guy who had uh, had the stand all the way up and it dropped like ten feet and landed on the the housing, and it bent the end of it, kind of made it moon sh- moonlight shaped. Uh, but because it was aluminum and he's a PDR guy, he just pounded it back in shape. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Not funny. Yeah, if I was a hail guy, I would have bought the the Stucky light. I think it's a beautiful light. I thought it, it when Carl brought it to the table last year at MTE. I'm like, wow, he really, he really did a good job. He made it wide, which was always yep. uh, a concern with me with with Carl's lights. Uh, he he likes narrow lights, uh, yeah. and he came to the table with something wide and durable and beautiful and very functional. Yep, yep, it's been a great light for me. Okay, cool. Your uh, turn, John or Vince? My turn. Well, I'm going to bring up hog glue. Because I think hog glue really made a difference in my life this last year. Uh, when did it come out? It came out, what, April? Yeah. About May, April, May. And yeah. I, I I started using it immediately, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I get great pulls, consistent pulls every time. The glue stays on the panel, so I don't have to worry about it You know, cleaning off a tab. It's much easier to clean off a panel than a tab. And yep. it's just great stuff. It, it pulls, it pulls the, like a freight train. It sticks hard. Yeah, it does. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's good to hear, man. I, I dig that. Um, I'm really happy that uh, Craig helped me pick a winner and and put this whole thing together. And I can't say enough about Anson for for helping me uh, bring this out and. Um, yeah, it's it's been one of the the best selling glues out there for the year. Yeah, yeah it's it made well, the top five. Yeah, well, so it's it's so effective. It, it yeah. truly is. I mean, uh, with that, I pulled less. Not you, John. There, there's someone that's banging pots and pans over oh. by Daniel's <laughs> like continuously. <laughs> so somebody's doing dishes. <laughs> So, uh, but I, I pulled, I did some stupid glue pulls and running it back to back with more, uh, more brittle glues, like uh, root beer was a little bit, it's a bit more of a brittle glue. And so it gives a much harder snap, still a wonderful glue. And it is actually on my list, but hog glue, I mean, it's just got that pull and that stretch and it just, you just don't pull as much paint. And I used it on some repainted panels, normally where I use the wax and like the Walmart glue and hog glue. Still, I was pulling some monster dents. Yeah. It yeah, just cleans awesome. up. It's definitely professional grade glue. You know what I mean? I feel like it, it, it saved me so much time with cleaning up and, and, and getting the pulls that I wanted consistent and everything like that. Uh, I thought it, it made a difference for, for my repairs this year. Definitely. Yep. So, all right, Daniel, you can't mention hog glue now. <laughs> okay, what's next on my list? You know what? This is a, a very small thing, but it's Ultra's new soft tip, uh, the A35U, and it's it's a little bit different shaped tip, and they have their own caps. They're red, 
kind of like the cherry tops, but they snap on and they don't come off. <laughs> um, I mean, you don't have to wrap it with tape if you don't want to. And, um, but it's yet stiff. Um, I don't like, I don't like something that's too, too flexible or too yeah. gummy or soft or whatever, but that little tip is fantastic. And I forget what tool I put it on. I only have one tip. I need to buy a bunch. I bought three. I, I bought three when I was there last time. Yeah, yeah that's smart because yeah. I, I'm constantly, is it, oh, I have it. I do have it wrapped with tape and I'm like, I can't find it. Can't find it. Oh, here it is. I, I seek it out. But that little tip is fantastic and I use it all the time. And that it was, works great was, on motorcycle tanks too. Yes. I bet it does. That was my fender killer. You, you know, the very top of the GM fenders that are super narrow. Yeah. And uh, normally I used like one of the chair, uh, chair cap tips. And, yeah. and, but no, nope, once I got that from Ultra, put that in there, and man, it would just push up and just get right between those. And you're right, it wasn't the, it didn't have that super soft rubber cap onto it. It was a lot firmer. You yeah. can really, you could, it could take some abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then you never had to worry when you were prying it, you know, especially when I was prying it through the fenders and everything, never had to worry about popping the cap off. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Or when you're down a door, cause I use yeah. a double bend down a door and use that down a door and it's like, oh, you know, you're pushing, pushing with the chair rail tip and next thing you'll pop and you got a high spot. It's like, crap, I lost it. Yeah. I lost another one. <laughs> well, now I'm R and I in the doors panel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to sit in there and rattle. Right. Yeah, All that's right. a good pick, Daniel. Yeah, that I, is I like good. that tip. It's a little thing, you know, but it is. It makes, it a, makes big a big difference. difference. It's but you're using that thing every single day. I mean, if you're if you're doing some good sized dents, you know, you're going to be using that tip all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Indeed. Yep. And by the way, we're going to have all these these tools in our show notes with the links so you can click on the link and go right to the direct website and buy it yeah someone someone messed with my link or my my list it's uh someone messed it up i had to add one that was taken off and i had a lot of honorable mentions that disappeared daniel i didn't do that that was john john oh wait Nope, I just didn't get those. Uh, let me let me carry those he over. Here. He didn't paste them. Oh, okay. yeah, I didn't. They didn't get pasted. <laughs> they're here. in the original <laughs> file. Yeah, they're uh, over. All right, now it's your turn, John. Yeah, what's up, John? All right, so I'm going to go with the Yoast door jammer, the XL door jammer. It was a late, another late comer into the year, but man, did it make my life easy when it showed up. I doing the big ripped up doors uh, and just between that size where I don't want to take it off, but they're just crushed hard. And, and I would be prying in a, a hood prop and a rope ratchet. Sure. Because otherwise you'd be damaging the, the, the rocker. Yeah. Yep. And uh, that XL door jammer uh, made by B and D I think now I was on B and D's website, and they do have those all on there. I do have some questions for Mike that I have to give him a call about. Okay, but, well, uh, the B and D XL or the XL door jammer is strictly an Anson product. It's so. an Anson only product. Yeah, okay. that was that was a design by Anson, so it, it should only be on Anson. In case you didn't all find right. that link, I I didn't. Um, uh, I got to remember. Oh yeah, actually. <clears throat> You know, I do have one of their door jammers. I'd have to double check that. That might have been my bad yeah. when I was putting in the links here. So no, no problem. Uh, double check that. But that XL door jammer was great. In fact, I use it a lot more than I do the regular size door jammer now. Um, I reach for it. I think I think so. there's a market for all three. You know, between the the regular oh, door absolutely. jammer, the XL, and the hood, the the prop and lock. Because I'll, I'll find myself using the prop and lock in the door as well. I'll use the XL in the door, and I'll use the 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 little one, so yeah. or the original. So there's always a need, and there's going to be guys out there that don't want to spend the money on on the the prop and lock. And understandable, it's expensive, but uh, keep in mind we are professionals, and we need professional grade tools. Uh, so you know, spend the money, 
to save you a little, uh, a lot of time and, and, you know, make you yeah. just that more. That prop and lock. That's, I, I mean, that's on my list. I could, I could go on about the loveliness of that tool. Oh, sure. And I just got it. I, I mean, I got it right before Christmas and I just used it the other day fixing the hood. So, yeah, but the XL door jammer, it's just so solid. Might as well have the door off and on a stand. You could probably go about 200 miles an hour down the road in a Ferrari with that thing attached and the door wouldn't flutter. Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend trying it. No. But, uh, well, you could be a YouTube star. I don't want to hold anybody back on possible money making opportunities. I think it would be better if they did it in reverse, though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then, then it would prove how well it held the door. Exactly. You know what? I might. That 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 might be like a rental thing to do at M- MTE this year. I might during the that. drunk Olympics. Drunk yeah, Olympics. Drunk Olympics. <laughs> I don't know Who if the drunk it? Olympics are going to happen this year. We got a new hotel and and yeah, it might be a little tougher to that find might a be place. Tough. I don't know. We'll figure out a way to get kicked out. But you know what? That, that the drunk Olympic Olympic has always been an impromptu thing. Last year it got little a little bit bastardized. So hopefully it'll go back to just being something spontaneous and fun and, and easy going instead of something I organized. Yeah, have you missed did it? You bastardized year? it? Huh? I think you did. I think you bastardized you it. You bastardized your dent. You made it so it was unrepairable. Mine was just <laughs> a, a, a line that I put in it. They could knock mine down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean like the guys were way too serious when they, you know, about it <laughs> last year. It's like, dude, Everywhere. don't offer up your car if if you don't have the insurance on oh, it. You, you better have the insurance, buddy. Drunk <laughs> <Yeah>. dent guys. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, last on my list would be uh, the Dent Reaper. The Dent Reaper is a f- marvelous, fantastic, outstanding tool that I use on a daily basis now. It's so good. Yeah. I got two of them. You know, I got one okay. for my mobile and one for my uh, shop. Let, let me ask you. I was on Dent Reaper's website when I was putting the link there on your list. Yeah. And he has two, one with an adjustable handle and one with a fixed handle. Which one do you have? Well, I bought the fixed handle once, and then I chopped off the handles, and I put the <laughs> Octagon from Ultra on it. So I made my own ratcheting handle. Okay. All right. So, Well, he has a ratcheting version out. So if anybody follows, clicks the link. There is a ratcheting handle version of the Dent Reaper. Yeah, and the ratcheting handle would be the A1 ratcheting handle, which is a very good handle. It's just it doesn't fit my hand very well. And I mm-hmm. there's a big consensus out there with that. Uh, maybe there will be a redesign. Maybe not. I don't know. But the best, Or just send, send it to Ultra and do, do what you did. Yeah, you could do that. But you know what? The Ultra one, it doesn't have as many positions as an A1 with the ratcheting handle. So you got to oh, give and how take. Many, how many do you need? Sometimes you need that little in betweener. You think? Sometimes, okay. not always. But and also the 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 fact that you just press the the screw on the top to to shift it is remarkable. What yeah, I don't like. That, about, I mean the the ultra one is more precision. It's it's a doesn't have as much play, in my opinion. Right. I However, think it's tighter. However, but it's harder. It is harder to adjust and get it into the position. And that's fine on on a on a regular uh, handle. But like the T handles, when I use a T handle, I usually have my my middle finger and my pointer finger around the knuckle of the actual shaft of the tool. And right. when you're on an adjustable handle by Ultra, it's big and it spreads your fingers apart. You know, really hard, and I don't like that. Sometimes it, it changes the That's feel. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. <laughs> Come on, there might be ladies listening to this. In fact, I know there's ladies listening to Come this. Come on, you, hit, you throw me a softball, I'm going to hit it out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but that's the that's the nice thing. If you do what you did, is you can choose a right handle handle or a T handle. Yeah, which you don't get with the ratcheting handle, obviously. True. So gives you a few more options. Could be the difference sometimes. Yeah, it could be. But with the 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 thing with the dent reaper and Daniel, you have one. John, I don't think you have one. Nope. Uh, nope. It's a slow J, and sometimes that slow J makes all the difference in the world. In fact, not sometimes. Most of the time, it's not a hard right angle. 
it's a slow J. When it gets down to that curve, it, that curve, for some reason, makes a big impact on how you could get to a dent or how you could get well, under a bridge. It distributes the heel of the tool, the part that you're leveraging on. So especially if you're hitting a brace or something thin, it, it will grab onto the, that point and give you better leverage. Now, if you have a sharp angle tool, you know, like, like the new ultra, uh, five or half inch design. Um, that's a that hard. to me, to, that to me, that tool works better on aluminum and, and sharper dents, um, and gives you a different leverage point. It's, it's night and day difference, but you almost have to have both, you know, depending on your situation. Oh, sure. Yeah, and I'd, I'd say with the Ultra ones, they're even better when you're going through the top of a, a, a truck bed, right? You've brought oh, that up yeah. to me. You take yep. the top cap off, and they're shaved really thin, and you get down there without mauling up the well, hole. Well, they fit down those slots beautifully yeah. and don't hog them all out, Yeah, and uh, that yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah, so. absolutely. So the Dent Reaper, I think every, every door dinger should have a Dent Reaper tool. Uh, that I, I strongly urge that because that is a tool that makes a big difference. Uh, I think I like it. I haven't bought the shorter one yet. I haven't really found a need for it, but I might. Yep. Yeah. All right, Daniel, you're up. We're All getting right. to the end here. Alrighty, that's good. We're right on time. Um, I have to go with my VIP knockdown. Really? Um, yeah, just friggin' love. Um, and now. We just got the new version 3.1 knockdown, or at least I did. Did you get yours? 3.0. And yep. Well, he, yep. He John was, got it. He did said you he get it? it. I haven't gotten it yet. I, he said he was uh, going to send me one, but I haven't gotten it yet. Neener, neener, neener. You guys are going to want to stop by his booth and check this out. There is no booth. Oh. Who's it's going to be all at Anson, right? It's all at Anson. Anson. If you want VIP knockdowns, come to Anson. Come see me. I'll hand deliver one to you in the color of your choice. So yeah, these things are bad. bad my bad. VIP has been my best friend, and um, and then, then the version uh, 2.0 came out. Now he has the version 3.0, which is even better looking in cool colors, and he's got a little bit more uh, grip at the end point. But now he's got several new tips to go along with it so it's probably going to be my pick for next year but i mean it's a tool i use every single day i can't deal without it gotta have my vip love it love it love it and john you could probably attest to this that's a tool that crosses over from hill guys to to oh yeah the vip 2.0 actually was the first tap down to replace my adventure tap down that was 14 years old oh dear yep it was the first one that did I've a, seen a lot job. man that's it you. was that i that tap down i've got a dozen tap downs they all have a different tip on them i've ran every form of metal tip on them to try to match that adventure tip nothing did that 2.0 was the only one and i can see he's got that identical tip that goes on this 3.0. So I'm really looking forward to getting it out and uh, giving a go at it. Now, now Vince, I think you'll agree with me on this. A little caveat here. So I've got all these new uh, screw-on tips from VIP. Yeah. And where do you put them? You put them on your tequila tap down. <laughs> yes. And that's my little side note here. Tequila tap down. Um, I've got them in all colors. I've got lots of them. And I've got all my, my VIP tips on all of them. It, it's funny. The, the only knockdowns I use now are screw-on tips, and they're all either on or, – or the VIP, and they're all on tequila knockdowns now. Right? <laughs> yeah, they've got a little magnet on them. They're yeah. different colors, so you know which one you're going for. They stick they're to the, the right mat. size. They stick to the they stick to the mat. mat. Yeah. Yep. yep. It's just simple, beautiful, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, Cool. Okay, All right, John. Who, Johnny. All right. What do you I'm got going with tequila full size. The tequila hand tool full size. Yep. Not the 730 seconds. These are the big ones. The whole kit and caboodle. The big package. Yep. Yep. The big package. Uh, they, again, F, F250, 350, 450, and 550s that I did this summer in Wyoming. 
up under those braces, the whale tails just didn't cut it on these goose egg sized dents. And the tequila, the big hand tools got right in there. Um, did the work when nothing else was going to do it. And I mean, they did a great job. Snaked in on bad, bad damage on the aluminum hoods. Very Every happy. time I've worked on an aluminum hood, that's the tool I've been grabbing and just does the job. It's perfect design. Well executed. Yeah. Yeah. Now I did do one thing that I did learn was I stopped twisting so much with my wrist and started working them in an up down motion a little bit more. Good tip. And uh, it worked, worked really, really well. I wish I yeah, had a the little opportunity. bit of a twist. I wish I had the opportunity to use them more. I think it, it's yeah. an essential tool for hill hill technicians. Oh, it was it was for me. They they were essential. But you know, if I maybe it wouldn't have been that way had I done more cars. Uh, but being up in Wyoming, I did ten to one on SUVs and trucks, and uh, those tools just killed it on the roofs, especially those super duties. Yeah. You know what I noticed? You know, Anson came out with a ton of tools at the end of the year here. And the tools that they came out with are remarkably well-made. They're made by A1. And I was starting to think to myself, between the hand tools, the door tools, the ratcheting door tools, uh, and everything, everything that they have right now, you could make your own kit out of. Because they're all useful tools. They're all something that you would use on a daily basis. Uh, the, I'm pretty much done with my list of top five, but I have honorable mentions. And the other one of my honorable mentions is the, the tequila ratcheting door tools. Those are great tools. I love yep. them. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, I, haven't, I, ha- I don't have any experience with those ones either. Yeah. And I can't, I can't say that they're my number one tool for the year or top five because I've, I've only had them for a few months, so I can't, you know, honestly say that they're, they've made my top five. But you could literally, if you were a starter PDR technician, you could go and buy the whole tequila line of tools and tabs and their new tequila glue, which will be coming out at MTE, and you would pretty much have a whole set of tools that you could go out and fix dents for a living with. Oh yeah, I, yeah, without but a doubt. Here's the the deal with the Kila tools is they found an they found a a hole in everybody's arsenal basically and filled it. These tools are needed by hail techs mainly, but there there wasn't really a good choice out there, um, in my opinion, and they filled that hole. Wouldn't you yeah. agree? Uh, yeah, I, yep. I think yeah. Well, the majority of hail dents are probably fixed with rods, but when you get into you know the the, the panels, the braces, the braces and, and stuff like that, you know, yeah, we made, we made aluminum do. and aluminum. Yeah, and yeah. where the where the the full size um, hand tools really come in is man when the whale tail just isn't going to cut it. Yeah, and you need something. Super much, strong. much strong. You know, your your only choice is, and the old old way of doing it was bow the brace out, physically bow the brace out to try to get a bigger tool into it. Yeah, didn't have to do that. I could just snake that tequila hand tool in there. Uh, and to tell you how much I did it, I actually bent the tip on one of those tequila hand tools. Really? Yeah. Holy cow! That's uh, that's how many super duties I did. And just how strong that roof is. You know, you're scaring me because I haven't had the pleasure yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, out of all of them I did, I only had one dent that really, really worked me over hard. But to the, the point re- that I mean, you're still thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> doubt. I'll, I'll think, I'll know that dent for the rest of my life. That was just one of those where I was using uh, eight foot of dent rod. And I was hanging off the end of it, and I had the fulcrum point only a foot away from the dent. Wow. <laughs> and I had my whole body weight bounce. I couldn't even see what I was doing. I was bouncing so aggressively, and it, it just barely moved that panel. That's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. man. All right. Well, I think we've gone through the top fives of each. Well, I have I have one more. Oh, you do? Uh, okay. The, the Ultra 3.8 uh, set. And it's just a pick set. But it's three eights, and they made tips that are three eights, and I tend to 
gravitates towards that tool more than anything else. And um, I love it. And it's got the quick release handles. Um, so you can put any handle you want on it. Um, I find me, I find that I can stick it in at, at smaller areas, stick it underneath braces. Um, I just use the heck out of it. Love it. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds good. <laughs> it's just it's just a pick set. It's yeah. just a straight pick set with removable yeah. handles and removable tips. That, yeah. but it's three eighths. It's I, I've seen them diameter. on the website. It's okay. just smaller diameter. It's simple but yeah, effective. Very cool. Well, John, you have one more on your list that you haven't talked about. I do. I do. I've got the uh, prop and lock edgy crown killer from. And then the, uh, yeah, I actually had two, the prop and lock from B and D and the edgy crown killer. Now the prop and lock, I got right at the end and we already kind of talked about that just a little bit, but the edgy crown killer. Yeah. I have I to agree with thing. you on that thing. Yeah. I love that thing, especially on my glue poles. Um, I would, I would take, you know, once in a while you get one of those glue poles where all the science just works perfect, but the tab comes off and there you are with, with Mount Olympus, yeah. you know, and you're, you're like, eh, <clears throat> gonna need a Sherpa on this one. And, uh, the crown killer, I mean, it's like, you could get cowboy with the hammer. Uh -huh. I, I use the crown killer with the black cap. It's, uh, the much harder one, man. I was driving those things back just in a hurry enough where I wasn't hardly having to use my, uh, dead on dents to finish off my glue poles. Oh, wow. I don't use my metal tap downs for glue poles. I, I use either a plastic or a soft rubber face. Uh -huh. And man, uh, yeah, the crown killer just got in there. It moves, it moves a lot of metal. You're not going to do a, a super precise hit with it, but it, it moves a lot of metal and hence the crown killer. That That's interesting that you said that because I use metal knockdowns for glue poles. I had to today, especially, you know, when you get that pit that just doesn't want to come up and then you just yeah. pull everything around it. I kind of now, reshape see, it with a metal VIP to get the sides down and yeah. make it high. That's the only time I use a metal tip on glue poles. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Same same situation. Gotcha. So, okay. Well, that makes sense. But the rest of the time for basic glue pulling, uh, they're a, a bigger, they're a rounded, you know, outside dent. You know, I like a softer face, a bigger plastic soft face. Yeah. And they, it's just really worked well for me. And dead on dents, I mean, I know those were on your uh, uh, dead mentions. on dents period. Yeah. yeah. But that, I love those. What are you talking about? Oh, the ballistics? The ballistics are uh, badass. Dude, no, I have unbelievable. Oh, man. I don't know if you, you don't have them yet, John. No, I, I don't have the ballistics. I still have his uh, yellow, the yellow and brown. Okay. Yeah, the yellow and brown. Yeah, that's the, I forgot the name of it right now. Uh, match grade. Yeah. Match grade. Okay. Listen, you will never use the match grade again once you go to the ballistics. Really? In my opinion. I think they are, they're, they're ph phenomenal. Yeah, they're unbelievable. They're they're like a dark, dark gray, almost black, a charcoal black, almost. Yeah, right. It's and good. but they're smooth. Yeah, when you feel it, it's got this slick feel, like it, like a pencil lead, almost. Yeah. And I don't know. I'll if have it's to grab peak. some MT. You have to, John. You have to. I don't know if it's peak or what type of plastic he's using. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't leave any marks. No. They were saying harder Zero. than peak. That it's probably harder than peak. I mean, it's as hard as peak, but the the big thing it doesn't leave any marks. Even peak leaves marks. And I yeah. I would mushroom peak. I have not mushroomed these ballistics yet. Okay. And nice. I, I'll have to swing by and, and yeah, pick some up. Some of some of the other honorable mentions I had that we've also some of us have gotten was uh you know like the ultra hole straightener. I think that's a badass tool. I think it's phenomenal. Yep. Now I picked up last year. I picked up the Kiko version. Yeah, and I loved it. It worked great. I I prefer the Kiko version for one reason because it works on motorcycle tanks when you have to um, when you got the fuel opening and then all oh, the, that longer reach. It it goes down deeper and sometimes you bend up that inner part of the fuel opening and that thing will go down there where the the other flange. ones won't. I, I call yeah. it the flange. Yeah. 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 So okay. Well, yeah. I really I use that thing almost every day. But you have to you have to purchase a a device to make that thing work. Yeah. So it's going to cost you more for yeah. the Kiko one. 
So that's the downside of that. Well, the ultra, the not the Kiko. Yeah, the Kiko. You need a Kiko robo goes on 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 the uh, robo lifter. Robo lifter. Yep. Yeah. So you have to have next to robo lifter. Yeah. My now I bought the whole kit because I had one with the robo lifter and no feet, and that's the way they sold it. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, with with the ultra hole straightener, I think it's sixty five bucks. I mean, and it's, yeah. it's freaking awesome. It works really good. And uh, if, if you guys are out there thinking that these hole straighteners that we're talking about, and Edgy, I see, has a new one out that's going to premiere at the show. Yes. But if you're thinking it's a joke, it's not. They work. They do make a difference. They're way better than grabbing a pair of pliers. Or using a tool. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it definitely, um, especially if you're working on truck beds and you hog out that those notches. <laughs> yeah. And it straightens them out and makes them look good. So if somebody ever pop a thing and look at it it's not gonna look like garbage i run all the way around the hoods because i you know like i said i was getting pretty cowboyed up on some of them and and i had a couple that i really wrenched on and i knew i was going to tear up the bottom of the the hood but the customer didn't care the shop didn't care they everybody just wanted the dents fixed and i thought well let's see what this whole straightener will do and it cleaned it up great yeah. So, yeah i'm a firm believer of them now one of the other ones that we have is an honorable mention too is lift right uh, I think we all have. John, do you have a lift right from race? No, Nintendo? no, I've only played with it. Um, right about the time he came out was right about the time I knew I was not going to be doing hail full time. Right, right, right. And that's ultimately where that that tool shines. You know, I, I want to get back into doing the bigger side panel damage it, um, as as my hobby. And so. I think it's one of the reasons why you don't hear us talking too much about the lift right. You don't have one. Daniel and myself, we're not hail technicians, so we don't use the lift right regularly, but it is a great tool. Uh, yeah, I did yeah. get to play with it, and I spent some time using it, and it's comfortable. I'm... Now, if you're working on hoods, roofs, rails, trunks, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the other one, the other, all right, the other one too, that, uh, John, I don't think you have. Is the Endeavor hangers? Nope. Nope. Yeah. You know, the Endeavor six, hangers are huge. Those are cool. We had him on the show. He wanted to send me one. And I I was like, I wanted him to get that inventory out. Again, it was right at the same time in which I knew I'm not going to be using it. Yeah. And I thought it, I thought it was way more important that uh, a paying customer uh, would go get it. He offered to send me one, but I told him no. And, uh, Get that inventory, you're, you're get, get those customers in there. You know, I wouldn't, I wasn't going to be able to put it to use and give it the true test. Um, but I did get to finally play with one, and sure. it is well built. I don't think you're going to, you know, people were concerned that you're going to strip that strap out. Hell no, 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 no. Hell, <laughs> see it happen. No. So, well, great. That pretty much concludes our list. I'd like to get into some of the stuff that we're looking forward to at MTE. You know, yeah. some of the banter we have, you know, about five, 10 minutes left that we want to talk about. Let's get into that a little bit. What to expect for the newbies that are, are showing up to MT. Well, my, my biggest one is, is mobile tech RX. Um, so I've been playing around with the beta and their new version looks sexy. It is sexy, sexy, sexy. Yeah. And, but you can see, yeah, it's pretty smooth. you know, I'm beta testing it, so there's lots of lots of little bugs and stuff. But beyond that, it's it does does streamline everything and makes it faster, better. Yeah. And um, you got know, rid of a lot of the redundant clicks. Yeah, it shows the the whole car, the color of the car, gives you the color code. You can take uh, photos faster. And in fact, the color code is in multiple places. Yep. <laughs> There, there were so many changes. Honestly, I couldn't keep up with it, and I didn't even realize everything that there was. So, but, but the one, the one thing I noticed right off the bat was scanning on a car. It works much better, faster, easier. Yeah. Um, and the photos part, um, I stopped taking photos because it would take too long. It's way, 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 way faster. So I love yeah. that. So. I'm looking forward to seeing when that's fully baked and ready for, for consumption. Yeah, by the time by the time the show comes out, um, ninety nine percent of the bugs that you're talking about, we're planning on having actually 
multiple releases, even right, at, you know, bug fix releases right after the show for just in case. So the, everybody is all hands on deck working on that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is what I wanted to bring up. Uh, there's some MT announcements from Christina from Anson that I wanted to talk about. Uh, obviously, they'll they'll be carrying Endeavor tools, B and D tools, uh, Tequila Hatch Hanger is a new tool that no one has seen yet. That'll be out. Uh, the Tequila Glue will be out, which no one has seen yet with new packaging and all that stuff. Uh, Restless Minds, the hood hangers for your hood stands. Those are going to be exclusively at Anson. Check those out. And the best part, which is unheard of because Anson never, ever, ever does this, any Anson products is at MTE only will be 25% off. They've never done that before. They've always done like free shipping and stuff, but they're doing 25% off any Anson products. So that's glue tabs, glue, or any of yeah, the they were throwing, they were big, big discounts in. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there's tons of other discounts and stuff like that from other vendors. Uh, I haven't gotten anything at Showtime at this point uh, delivered directly to me. But if you go on to PDR Tool Time on Facebook, on our group, you'll see a whole bunch of other uh, lists of uh, the companies and what they're doing and what's new and out. So make sure you check that out as well. Very yeah, nice. I think uh, I'm really looking forward to just getting around the booth, shaking hands with all the vendors and, and seeing everybody again and seeing what is new and seeing what was behind closed doors. And uh, I'm just really looking forward to the show. I think there's going to be a lot of really great stuff. Yeah. Um, well, the the big thing is, is, you know, first of all, they've got a new venue, so that's going to be all new. It's going to be bigger. Everything's under one roof. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be close to, uh, you know, the uh, Universal Studios Park. And that, do you remember, Vince, when we went to downtown uh, Universal Which, with yeah. all the bars and oh, the yeah. dance places and stuff? So we'll be close to that. So it's going to be a lot of fun this year. Yeah, uh, th- some other stuff. W- what else to expect, guys? Yeah, you know, there, there's there's a lot that happens. Yeah. Well, I was trying to open up the uh, the venue, but uh, apparently that's not going to function on my computer. At the I moment. think the main thing too is is the camaraderie. You know, if you've never been to MTE, you will make new friends. You'll make lifelong friends. I've met all these Absolutely. guys that we're talking to at MTE. You know. Yeah. It, I've, and that's that's what makes our industry unique is that we get together, we're friendly, we we grow this business, and yeah. if you want to be part of making this business great, you're you're you can do that. There's so many opportunities, you know. I I I love all you guys, and and majority of the people that I've met at MT, not even the majority, everyone that I've met at MT has been super cool, super fun to hang out with. Everyone lets their hair down and just has a good time and relaxes and learn a lot about our industry. Uh, a couple other things. The, there's a lot of uh, seminars going on, really good seminars this year, too. Yeah, oh, there is. There is. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to map I'm be, out my schedule. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be at, I know, three different ones. Um, I know for sure speaking at two, and I might be speaking at a third. Um, so we'll, we'll be them. slipping in. Yeah, we'll... we'll We'll be down there with the uh, Paul Gordon's new uh, yeah. business venture, yeah. PDR Profit. PDR Profit, yeah. And yeah, definitely. Gonna have, that's going to be sold out, I guarantee you. Yep. Then they're also going to have PDR Contractors. Yep. That's going to be sold out. And Trump. And then uh, one of the other things that got done inside of Mobile Tech RX, you know, we're not just uh, PDR software, is we partnered with Glassweld, and Glassweld is has a major uh, class going on. So I'll be slipping in there talking about that with the glass people. There's plenty of technicians that do glass. Yep. So And then there. Uh, us ourselves, Mobile Tech RX, we have a classroom from four to six to go over this, the whole new version. Uh, we're going to try to do an hour of walkthrough, hit all the highlights, and then do Q&As. Uh, the new version should be out in the store for you guys to download. Hopefully, uh, Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Um, it'll kind of depend on Apple. 
So is that um, a free Apple's upgrade? So, yeah, yeah. There's no no cost difference. This was just one of the things that it was a million tweaks that we always wanted to get done, and we wrapped them up in one huge giant package. Yeah, just just constant, never ending improvement with Mobile Tech RX makes it better. I, I feel sorry for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, that, you guys are taking over the world. They're, I mean, it's they're, just that they good. They're 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 focused on on making a good product, and that's they shouldn't be really focused on anything else but making a good product for us technicians. Uh, yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, oh, this just in: Steve from Ultra Dent Tools will be there, and he will be hanging out at the Elimident booth. So, if you want to go talk oh. to Steve and uh, pick his brain a little bit, he's a very interesting guy. He's a brilliant mind to sit down yeah. and talk to. Make sure uh, you go over there, and everyone's going to be checking out, you know, a limit den anyways. A limit den's always a very busy booth. Yeah. Now, should we mention that we're going to do what started this whole thing? What? I, that I can't we'll be read doing the your mind. The, we're, we're doing the <laughs> drunk tool review. Oh, the drunk tool review? Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be wearing a robe though, but. Uh, We'll have to see what's in the hotel room. We have to see what yeah, our hotel you're room is. You're going to be butt naked? Yeah. Butt okay, naked. tune in, folks. You're going to see Vince <laughs> D'Alessandro butt naked. Not. So I'll, be having a, I'll, I'll be having some cranberry juice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. John's our <laughs> designated driver. I'll be the designated, I'll be on, the designated non-drunk. Right. He's on some psychometronic yeah. <laughs> uh, drugs that he cannot drink. And so. Yeah. But I'll be taking my gimbal, so we got a couple of couple of phones we can run on that feed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I was actually warned today that uh, we better have our batteries charged up because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to want to get footage of. I think so. I, You know, every company has mentioned that they have something, and then only a handful have leaked some stuff out. So I, yeah. I think so. Should, check out check out our Facebook page. We're going to be doing live uh, interviews and live footage. So, Stay tuned if you're not going to be there, if you're a total loser and you can't be there. Oh, come on. Some people have family commitments and yeah, work commitments. Some people are sick. Come on. Losers. Losers. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> you got to go. Commit. No. If, if you get your chance, I know the guys that I worked with this year up here in Wyoming, they're going to be heading down. I mean, they're going to be first time for the show for a lot of people. So, um, yeah, it, it, make it on your bucket list. You got to come check it out. Come check it out. Okay. Well, that wraps up episode 151 of PDR Tool Time. And, and Daniel, guys, don't forget to level up your tools at MTE. Do it. And don't do stupid stuff. And Make I, sure you check that insurance box on your rental car. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm going to come up with something at MTE. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Thanks for listening. This has been another episode of PBR Tool Time.